page 98. Page 98. Um, here the... Um, uh, in this page, we are going to learn some new techniques in uh, predicting the meaning of any new word. So, and instead of getting panic and uh, um, because you have met a new word that you haven't seen before, you learned before. So, there are some some techniques or some uh, procedures that can help you to predict the meaning from the Study one of the uh, uh, context clues called the context clues. Um, to find the meaning of unfamiliar words, we have to look for the context clues or other words or phrases that are new by the text. What should I do with this context clue, clues or this, this other word? Uh, maybe this, those other words are giving you the definition of the word. Sometimes it, it other words are giving you the synonym or the antonym. So it's one of the ways that may lead you to protect the meaning of this word. Let's go to the first technique, which is the definition. Let's see the example. Rick was surprised that he liked the uh, ontology so much, he did not expect the study of words to be so interesting. Of course, you haven't learned, maybe you haven't heard the word ontology before. But if you read the, the context clues surrounding the word ontology, you will find that he said this he did not expect the study of birth to be so interesting. So the study of birth refers to the word ontology. So what the means of the word ontology is the study of birth. Here the word is clearly defined in the text. What the definition is the study of birth. The second example. Simon's rule is 15, but Olivia's rule is disorganized and missing. Now, Christine. Christine, maybe you have uh, uh, you have met it for the first time, or you you don't know what the meaning. But read the context clues around it. We have but, so this is a contrast. It's disorganized and messy. So disorganized and messy are contrast or the antonym of the word Christine. So what do you mean by Christine? Yeah. So Christine means organized or tidy, the word means. The third example, it's a pleasure to teach these students because they are so insightful and perceptive. Maybe you don't know the word perceptive, but you know the word insightful. Insightful means to be aware of, to be alert to the things that going around you, to be um, uh, uh, acknowledgeable to the things that are going around you. Um, Sensitive, the every little thing. All these things here, yeah, all those words, are pointing to we uh, are pointing to one word, word which is the perspective, perceptive. So this is the meaning of perceptive. What did I do here? That the um, the complete clue shows me the synonym of the word perspective. That leads me to this meaning of this. Um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, let's go to the um, presentation of the, of the phone before talking to the uh, There are two phones. We are going to start with the morning talk. If you look at this book, you'll find that the author is using a bird. The, a bird with um, a red dome. This bird actually is called, this one I show you now, a real picture of it. Uh, this bird is called the um, European. Uh, it's a European bird called Robin. And um, uh, uh, the European people who immigrated to America, when they uh, discovered the another bird that looks like it, they called it Robin too. But actually, this bird is called Fresh. The bird is seen that because a lot of people are calling it Robin, so it's something to believe that he is a Robin, not a Fresh. So here is the our story uh, that is telling through the morning talk. So this is the, the summary of the uh, of morning talk uh, uh, that the um, um, the author, uh, which is the Roterta, she tells um, telling the the bird that he is not really a robin because the robins live in England, and uh, and instead she said that she, 
uh, you are red-breasted thrush, only a thrush with a red breasted. But the robin responds with the name uh, 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 that the native people gave to him, that he is a robin. And you start to ask about the, um, uh, the roots of this people. Uh, as you know that America has been called the melting pot because people from all over the world have come to here to live. But first, let uh, me ask you this question and uh, find the answer in your mind. Uh, if you are an immigrant, what does this mean to you? Uh, if you are not an immigrant, do you know any people or family who have immigrated? Are they from the closed circle? Do you know them I mean? Are you in a, in a, uh, um, in, in a contact with them right now? Uh, what are the challenges that they face when they go to this country? Um, how might someone feel um, if his or her name and identity was changed or changed based on the place of birth? Um, how might an Independence Day celebration be different for an immigrant? You know what is the Independence Day? It's the day where America gets its independence. Yeah, the independence, yes. And when, where, when they sign the, the, uh, the paper. Um, if you are an immigrant and you have immigrated to America, will you celebrate this day, the Independence Day, or the National Day is not related to yours or not? Would it be different for you to, uh, to celebrate this day in another country or not? Think about those meanings. Yes, uh, those are the two birds, the thrush. This is the uh, American bird and the robin. This is the real robin. Um, it's uh, a European bird. And uh, the, the European immigrants, so when they uh, saw the thrush, they called it robin. And the the thrush believed that he is a real robin. Um, so I like to to better to write those words with their meaning in your uh, comprehension study book to be like a reference for you in your study. Uh, on mythology, it's a study of birds. I mean, I like for you the most important thing that you can write and instead of writing all the things. So, ornithology, this is the study of birds. Okay, so it looks so bad. I like Okay, Christine. Christine. Uh, we have two examples here, you can write one of them, right, with one or two or three, but let's read them first. Washing machine for sale, only two months old and in pristine condition. What, what, what do you mean for pristine here, do you think? It's in a good condition, in a new condition, yes, so pristine here means new, not brand new, sorry for that, I mean it's almost new. My office is a mess, but her office is always pristine. So, mess, but this means that uh, it's uh, a contrast. So, pristine here means um, uh, tidy. He was wearing a pristine white shirt, clean. Pristine he means to clean. Right, one of them, but what's more important to read that its meaning is new, clean, or organized. Let's think about the antonym, dirty or messy, dirty or messy, this is the antonym. Perceptive, perceptive, perceptive means very good at noticing and understanding, perceptive, you know it's perceptive is an adjective, and perceive too is an adjective, okay. you can write go back, yes, uh, on the poetry is a noun, yeah, and the uh, scene is an adjective, perspective is an adjective, very good at noticing and other things that many people do not notice, so you can observe the things to a very fast. You can write, the w just write the word perspective, write one of the examples, one or two. Her books are full of perspective insights into the human condition. 
example, it is due to their ability to retain their ears, cats are very perceptive when it comes to uh, fine pointing the source of a sound. No, because the cats, as you can see, whenever any sound happens around them, they start to, to turn their ears because they are, can hear well because they are perceptive animals. So the antenna, the synonym of perceptive is to be alert, to wait with the things and keep following, sensitive, knowledgeable, knowledgeable. Okay. The opposite is unaware. Ignorance. Cheer up. Cheer up. This is the example. The bird. You read the word. I know the example. One. Any one of them. The bird cheer up outside my window. The birds were chirping in the trees. We heard the cricket disturbing. A bird chirped inter intermittently outside. So what do you mean of chirp, do you think? It's something related to the bird. Um, we hear he, we heard the cricket chirping, so something getting the sound, making the sound. Uh, well, chirp is the sound of the bird. Yes, chirp is a bird. Uh, something especially of a small bird make repeated short high pitched sounds. Make repeated short like you know the, the birds make the su their sounds are very short, small, uh, soft, and it's repeated. The uh, the antonym is short. Where is the bird? Short. Sweet. You know this application that people are using in the phone. It's called sweater. Uh, it gives the shape of a, a bluebird, and they call it sweater because the um, the user uh, in writing the text or writing a post, they are uh, strict to a limited number of, of words. That's why it sh sh you and you can make threads. This is the why they call it the three piece repeated, and they are short. Uh, so sharp is uh, the anthem is sweater, tweet or peep. You know the peep? It's like the, the sound of the uh, uh, a small short sound uh, like the alarm. Chirp can act like a noun too. Chirp, a noun, and it's a short high pitched sound. Uh, the antonym is peep, shirt, the same. Um, we have a, a squeak, squeak, a cheap, chatter. Are the examples we the shirts of the cricket? The shirts of the cricket. Here, here, the example. The other children tease her because she was wearing the braces. You know the braces, the thing that they, uh, the dentist put in your mouth in order to fix some problems maybe in the shape of your feet. So she was putting braces, and the people, the, the, the children were teasing her. He was always teased by his brother about being short. Oh, don't get so angry. I was just teasing. The boy's mother told him to stop teasing the dog. What part of speech is teased here? Yeah, that's right. It's a verb. Can you please write the word and one of those examples? Choose one of them, or if it's better to choose the shortest one, or if you choose the one that you have understood well. It's a verb. What do you think is to laugh at something, to criticize or annoy someone in a way that is either playful or unkind? So right next to the piece is the verb. The, the synonym is annoying. Kids. So of course, kids not just like the kids. No, kids is from kidding. Uh, bother, to bother someone, to annoy him, mock, to mock someone he needs to make fun of, or to joke. What is the anthem? Flatter. To flatter someone it means to say nice or delicate words to him. Delight, to please someone. Uh, praise, to say nice words to someone. 
the good of us please me, please. Uh, also please to make happy, means to make someone happy. Um, okay, we had the word indigenous, indigenous. Here's the example. There are indigenous people of Siberia still live in the area. Indigenous people. Kangaroo is indigenous to Australia. It was difficult to adapt with the culture of the indigenous people of this country. So it seems that indigenous is an adjective. Okay, this is number one. Let's look here. Indigenous king kangaroo is indigenous to Australia. Kangaroo is one of the um, the main animal that you may not find in another place but in Australia. It was difficult to adapt with the culture of indigenous people of that country. So I have a country and those are indigenous people of that country and I can adapt with them. So it means that the, the, those are the natives of this country. Let's check the name. Indigenous is an adjective. That's right. It's produced growing, living, or occurring in, in, um, natively or naturally in a particular region or environment. So the synonym is native, uh, up original, or original, domestic, homegrown. So it is seen that when we want to describe something that belong to a special place, that grow in a special place, living originally in this place, its roots, its roots are from this place. So of course, the antonym will be foreign or alien. Or alien. Okay, well, that's it for today. I hope you uh, study those words again one more time. I'm going to write them well. Uh, stay alert and uh, for and for perceptive with the coming session inshallah uh, thank you very much uh, and uh, please a message for those people who are, are receiving their homework as an assignment um, kindly if you haven't uh, prepared your writing i need you to, to write it uh, in a word file and upload it in your page uh, uh, the final writing the, that we, i call the first draft in order to get your mark is that I will add it to your monthly exam. Uh, if you haven't noticed this before, so please, this is the last warning. Or, um, uh, I'm waiting for it, please, to uh, start, to, because the, after that, I will put your mark without the writing, and this means that you are going to lose a lot of marks. Uh, thank you very much. I hope that you uh, have enjoyed and this session was um, interesting for you. Uh, meet you tomorrow, inshallah. Bye-bye.